Hello, Nanig here. Welcome back to Stellaris. Last episode we integrated the whole fear into our empire and it uh, presented us with a couple of interesting conundrums. One of them being what the heck do we do with people that can only live on ice planets while our wolves are not capable of living on those ice planets yet. So for now we just have three planets full with slaves because well if they're not primary species we enslave them because otherwise they get unhappy and they riot and stuff like that. Tau city has been surveyed. It's not in our direct zone of control so for now we'll deal with it. Um, Tetler's palace has been done completed. Ah okay yeah I've been upgrading some stuff. Good, good. Okay, so actually have a quick look. So these Raltex, they don't actually have any uh, allies. Currently we are equivalent fleet and naval, though technologically they are superior to us. But we are not the strongest of researchers. That, that explains a thing or two. Uh, also, hostile fleet. Are we being attacked by space cows again? Seriously, we are being attacked by space cows. And that is... A construction ship. Okay. Uh, how weak are they? 78, okay. So we just need a couple. This is actually just two of our corvettes are going to be f uh, more powerful than those already. So uh, let's see uh, if that if that helps. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sort of kind of regretting uh, ever attacking these space cows because they're everywhere. And they're just a nuisance. Um, okay, fully repaired. Then we need to do uh, upgrades. How long are the upgrades going to take? 180 days, and then we need more. Okay. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Optelis has been fully surveyed. There's something in here. Ah, that's something that we need uh, a tier 3 for as well. Also, colony established. We have Siltam's Fortress. Wait, I instantly want to build a... A spaceport on. We are settling over there. Ooh, we can purge all the Obedin, can we? Or are they counting as ours? Let's uh, let's have a look. No, they are neutrals. Interesting. Very interesting. Irradiated tropical preference. This is not quite tropical, but they'll be happy enough here. Okay, I'm actually just gonna purge the those things. They'll they'll go away. That means at least we get the planet for our own. They're in the way otherwise. We are the woven, we are very tough. In real life I probably would not be able to uh, do something like this, especially not this casually. But that's why we are the woven. So Frontier Clinic, that's useful. And then the other things. Let's actually uh, clear some space. Send you over to the Frontier. And then we'll deal with it later. But the good thing is we have a little uh, zone of influence over here. That's slowly chipping away at our uh, our vassal. Which the Conjodans. Conjodan, Conjodan. You. Communicate. Integrates. It's going to cost us 490 influence at a rate of 3 per month. Let's do it. So, once again, we're not getting a lot of influence, but we are integrating our vassal. So that way, at least that will be uh, part of our empire rather than uh, standing on their own. And we can upgrade their fleet as well to integrate with ours and become a lot more powerful. So now let's uh, keep the thing uh, running. Yeah, that's actually, I realize we have a uh, construction ship that's not doing a lot. 
Send you over to, uh, to over here. You are actually there. That's very good. That's very good. Postal wanna, fleet detected. Uh, postal thing. I want to build a military station. It's going to be a defense platform. It's going to be one of those things that intercepts things that uh, LFTL in. And we are actually going to build it in... Actually, just build it over here next to the to the station. Like there. So the idea is that if we get space cows or something annoying like that, it's going to teleport in, it's going to get captured by the FTL interceptor on the defensive station, and it's going to get shot to bits. And because we already have our normal space base next to it, we just have a double firepower. And I hope that's going to be good. Um, similarly, our regular constructor is currently not doing anything. Um, this is within our base, uh, within our area, so let's build mining and research stations. Just expand. We need to roam. Also, there's nothing in Ziris. It's a bit typical. A little bit typical. Also, Ampel dear, uh, build your mining stations because it is ours now. Good, good. So we expand our resources. Also, I'm actually going to delegate all the planets that we have to our uh, governors. Just so we can cut down a little bit on the amount of planets that don't have a governor right now. Um, so Adnor is going to be our main. That means Nexus School, you're going to be our leader. Um, Nexus School, Nexus School. Oh yeah, you. Excellent. Okay, okay. And then, with the exception of Adonir, every area is going to get assigned to a, a governor. So, how are we currently? Three planets, uh, we're 50. Um, oh, Assyrian civilization, let's see, they are a space age, early space age, primitive satellites, and things like that. So in terms of, of planets and the colony size, they're both the same, but we have 35 pops here and we only have 18 over there. So Index Refuge is going to get uh, a couple of extra planets from the bottom. So Zimtar, Ruklar, Talon, um, Faltus, Adonir is not going to be. Um, let's add Teneca as well. Let we finish. Close this. Oh. Let's see, how do they compare now? So they are roughly comparable. That means we can add the rest to Hufasa so from the top. Zedren, Vru, and Jana. And Kwam. So Adonir is going to be it's our capital, and it's the only thing that's not managed by a governor. But the good thing is. Also, there's a Sigdom's Fortress, which is going to become part of the, the Ken Joden sector once we have that one up and running. So for now, we just keep that under direct control. That's going to be okay. Um, actually, let's uh, expand uh, the whole Fassa. Oh, finish. That was the, the wrong one. Um, it's Indic. Yes, yes. So, ah, because this is not colonized, we can't assign, and this is uh, independent, so we can't merge it. Okay, so this has to become its own thing, so System we'll service. deal with that later on. How are we in terms of leaders? I think we are... Oh, we are not maxed. That's good. Also, we have an admiral. We have a bender already here. Ships upgraded. Okay, excellent. First uh, has been upgraded. Polaris has been fully surveyed. That's not really looking all that exciting. So let's uh, recruit another hostile fleet. No, let's not recruit those, but that's the deal. Um, well, let's build it. So that's uh, Timafon, we need to rename you to someone from uh, the list. 
That's gonna be a Kone Uno. That actually works as a name. Welcome to the Wolven. It's gonna say, but we did we add someone else? No, we didn't. Okay. So, in terms of uh, planets, this one can now get our governor. Excellent. So we grow faster and uh, importantly, building is going to be uh, cheaper. Also, we managed to get rid of all the annoyances, so that's good. So let's build ourselves a basic mine and a basic power plant. And then the research will uh, wait with for a little bit. So we have some, some factions going on. Um, Index Refuge Nationalist Volunteer Force. Oh, that doesn't suck good. They want to make the sector independent. That's not in not good. Why? Why? It's just one pop. Um and that's going to cost us a boatload of uh, media attention. All right, we'll see how that plays out. For now, there's no, uh, there's only one person actually supporting it, so that's okay. Uh, is this space for cows? Yeah, the space cows in Talar's place. I think we are more powerful than the space cows, so I don't really care. Research complete. Research complete. So we have psionic warriors. Excellent. So if we do land invasions, we can actually use our Psy Warriors for that. Um, desert Worlds. Yes, we want more colonization. That's uh, that's an easy choice. Also, we got some uh, research progress. Some, uh, uh, you're just sitting there, are you? Uh, Unpause. So you're moving. The uh, thing is though, if you get close to anything of ours, you're just gonna... You're just gonna get wiped. Okay, also we have a construction ship that's uh, doing nothing. Let's jump over there. Ah, this is where we built our uh, defense fleet, is it? The defense platform... Only 243 defense power. Well, it's actually quite a bit. 2000 hull, hull, some shields, some armor. And from the looks of it, quite some range. Excellent. FTO inhibitor. Good, good. You go back into, uh, into orbit. Research complete. We have subspace sensors, that's better survey speed and better survey range. Oh, we are under attack somewhere. Let's uh, have a look at that. Oh, we found a new type of resource, which we just have to get. Hostile fleet. Wow, they actually went into battle here. I was not expecting them to do that. Station under attack. Wow. They shoot back, don't they? We have detected the presence of a pre-space alien civilization. They've harnessed the power of the atom. Okay. okay let's uh, just uh, send our... Uh... Actually, this is very far away, isn't it? Yeah, this is very far away. Where is the tau cell system? That's all the way over there. You can go... Um, Ceres. Did you... Yeah, Ceres has a station, so you can just go there. Or actually, just go to Adenir. I don't really mind... Stellar cluster is being upgraded, so we take out the Armada, the recently upgraded Armada. Which actually still has three raiders that we managed to loot at some point. We are going to go to Joanna and uh, take care of the Kianki, or the Tianki. 
who are using their superior range to uh, deal with the spare, our military stations. Are they going to be foolish enough to get, get close and actually get killed? They are taking damage now. Excellent. Situation updated. Okay. We built a research station. We have another air place where we are engaged with space cows. I wonder if eventually there's going to be like the, the big space cow king or something. That would be interesting. On the other hand, it does have the little bit of uh, characteristics of a uh, of a guerrilla warfare, as in there is no specific foe that you can strike at. Okay, once we get out of uh, FTL, yeah, we're moving. Uh, we still have our backup admiral. Interesting. Oh, Stellar Cluster is there. Let's assign our other Admiral to it. Well, let's just uh, move out with uh, the other... Because we have two places where we have cows attacking. Uh, this is where we are intercepting. So what's the other one? Here. Stellar Cluster. Attack. Oh, that's very near. That's very near. That, that's even better. Should be good. Also, because we're mobilizing so many ships, we are using a lot of extra energy. Also, we've researched deep space stations. Those are the heavy hitters. Even stronger and even better. So, what are we going to go do for... Ooh, cruisers. I think we are morally obligated to go for cruisers. After that, space torpedoes. No, wait, we were not going for long range weapons. So, no space torpedoes. Not yet. Time projects. Yeah, we already got that all sorted. Upgraded. Good, good. We have a science ship that's not doing anything right now. Um. Fleet combat. Yeah, we're there. So, this is going to be pretty good. This is almost gone. Excellent. And they are now automatically being repaired. So, you were bored. Now you can actually do something. Excellent. You don't have anything to do. So, we send you over to Adanir. Of Adnor. Send you over to Admor as well. How is the other fleet? Almost in combat. Excellent. Upside is... These shoot... Oh no! They don't shoot laser beams anymore. They shoot... Bullets. I was gonna say, they, they provide for a, a nice light show, but... There's no more light show. Uh, Armada, yes, do. Yeah, right, everybody is uh, gonna go uh, kung fu fighting in Adnor, and we're just gonna unite the entire fleet over there. Construction complete. Also, we need to build more. Also, upgrade more. Belfarens power plants. That's more power. That's always good. Uh, that's also a good thing to uh, look at. So, just thinking again, uh, the whole fear sector. We probably want to have that as an industrial sector. Um, not as a research. And just uh, no flip the switches for uh, a moment, so to say. If we're not going to generate a lot of the... Well, there, there's a lot of slaves over here, so they can't research, so we should not actually have them research. So we're flipping the switch, it's gonna cost us a lot, but it's gonna pay off in the end. So just gonna give these uh, 2,000 minerals, give you 2,000 minerals, we have a lot. Uh, give you a little bit of extra power. 
good, good. Oh, this is very risky. Let's not do it for now. So how is this one going? Spaceports. Um, let's give you an observatory. On the surface, this is pretty good actually. Just uh, got some people going, got some things going. We have a lot of space. So that we don't really need to intervene there for a while. And everything has been uh, that that can be mined is being mined. The double science ship is, I think it has already served its purpose for now. So we can break out of our confines. Oh, we can actually uh, do some surveying in Alcat. That's okay. Uh, survey Hofa Square. Uh, that might also be what the other ship is doing. Yeah, okay, you just go and uh, survey Alcat. That, that's enough. For now, that's going to be fixed. Okay, so the pre analyzed. Normally found. 22% risk. Unnatural energy readings from our planet. Let's research it. Fully surveyed. Anomaly. Mining station. Anomaly. So the fortress has buildings that we're not using. Yes, excellent. So this is now uh, protected by a space station. We have seven energy to spare when we are not in combat. I think we are doing a pretty good, pretty good job. What is this? Plenty of modifier. Yes, yes. Okay. And everything else is just... Uh, in service to the Empire. How aggressive are redevelopments being done? Not really, they're not really using their, uh, their resources very well. Okay, um, we have a construction ship, that's over there. You are done constructing, that's okay. Eventually we might swallow up some other planets, but for now, I think we are done building as well. But we have that one you can ah okay so let's upgrade this one to be a regular constructor a magnetic reversal the magnetic field of uh, Hulfas core 6 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the combat the merciless this rare event has interchanged the positions of the magnetics um, uh, of the planet's magnetic poles Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. That's very intriguing. Also pretty devastating if that actually would happen in real life to uh, whatever lives on the planet. A lot of physics gained. That's good. Good, good. So, for now, we're just gonna put you in orbit. Construction Might as well just upgrade you to the latest design. If you're not doing anything. This one's being upgraded. We can actually merge our fleets. So Bender is the one in charge. That's uh, our, uh, our mass, uh, our main admiral. Let's see. Fully upgraded, surveyed. Uh, fully upgraded, okay. Good, good. Then that means we can send out this constructor to here and get some science. Um, and observation post. That's also good for science. And over there we have mining stations for more energy, which is going to be good. And there's nothing we can do in Afar. This is not in our space, but it might not ever be. Two worlds and Arctic. Hey, for now, that is going to be it. Let's build our, expand our fleet. So actually, let's double check. How large is this? Seven destroyers, 42 and three. That's 45 corvettes. Uh, we could probably build a couple more destroyers. 
want to keep a, a clear majority, use the Corvettes as a, a screen, while the destroyers do heavy, heavy damage, but we can probably uh, build, let's see, another tree at least. That's going to keep it occupied for about a year. That's good. That's going to grow our fleet from 59 to 65 in size. 10 destroyers, 45 small ones. We are researching uh, cruisers right now. That's good. Ooh. Eric Saluso gained the level. Do we have any interesting events? We got some debris in Quam. That's kind of it. Is anyone going after that? No, actually. Okay, right, so Quam was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you go research. Uh, cube that one. Wait, was there more? Yes, and we have a level 3 researcher now. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. We can do the events. That means I'm just gonna have a look. Is there more that we can chain? Yeah. That was the wrong. Yumla. You research, then over there, Eval, you can also do the research, this is all the space Pokemon, I think. If the scientists become happy, that's good, they might invent new weapons. Let's see. Speaking of, we need to research something. Ooh, wow, that means that we... I think we just unlocked Desert Worlds. Yes, yes. Orbital Hydroponics, that's food in space. Tempting, but I think we're gonna go for Toxic Kelp. That actually should help us quite a bit. Because I think we had some Toxic Kelp. Warp Impact, a massive crater on Hufus Core 5 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that a ship traveling at full warp rammed the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. Commander Merciless has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site, reminiscent of a collapsed warp field. But as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. We do gain a lot of physics research, which will be integrated in the coming time. So, desert planets, we can now uh, colonize them. So is there anything that, that suddenly popped up as a colonizable? It's all Arctic, Tomb Worlds, Ar Arids, it's almost the same. Uh, and Hovel's core has been fully surveyed. So far, nothing extra of uh, interest. Common the Merciless is completely doing nothing right now. Let's uh, go there, investigate the Wily Uderen. Okay, how is her? Cool, we need one more. This is going pretty darn good. Um, Construction complete. Let's see, we had 45, so let's build another five. That gets us to 50. We got 10 destroyers. We got 10 to 5. That's a pretty decent ratio, isn't it? Got a lot of screen this way. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Who is insulting us? A trade to offer. So the Inari, they want to trade star charts with us. Who are the Inari? Oh, they are over there. That means they got some interesting charts that we don't have yet. That could be interesting. So let's, let's, let's agree. Wow, they mapped out quite some of their space. So are these Inari the, the rare ones that are nice? Or are we actually... Ah, we are embassying them. 
They are fanatic pacifist materialists. They are embassying us. Okay. Interesting. We have an embassy with the Kenjodans, the Dominion of Cyrus, and blank. Okay. Oh, just to double check actually the, the Raltec. Oh, Hostafleet, Makaus, Mu, Guram. Okay, so let's uh, split off a couple. Uh, let's take a, a destroyer, a corvette, or four, five. Sure, fine. Uh, wait, you are pender. You are not supposed to be pender. Uh, here, have Ad Admiral Kate. And kill them. Kill them all. So they're gonna hunt after our stations. We're gonna kill them. That's all good. Oh, and a day's work. So I was gonna say, um, Raltex, we want more intel. How are we now in terms of power? How do we compare? Equivalent. I would prefer to have our fleet be superior to them before we uh, engage in hostilities, but we're still uh, integrating the Ken Jodans, so we still have to, we still have time. It's all okay. Would be nice if we learn to uh, colonize arid worlds, because there's quite a bunch. Hey. Uh, research, let's have a, a look. Okay, so yeah, the cow is attacking, but we will defend. We will survive. Unfortunately, those cows, or the whales, actually they're not cows, they're whales, they're space whales. Uh, we've got a communique from the Zendrazuten. Okay. Greetings, I speak for Chief Executive Officer Oligatur and the wealthy elite of the Galactic Tendra Zoon Confederation. We are always looking for new trading partners and hopefully we can come to some sort of accommodation that will benefit the commerce of both of our nations. We fight, we do not trade. And that was uh, them. Let's see, your list is rather short, so afterwards you can uh, research this. And we send you what we just had an incoming war declaration that that's interesting Oud Lawrence secured the crew of the Combat of Merciless has managed to collect a small group of Oud Lawrence from the ISIS services of a Combat of Merciless uh, these white furry omnivores wrap themselves into fight into tight balls and roll across the snow field at astonishing speeds one animal was clocked at over 80 kilometers per hour Gee, that is pretty darn fast. This aided in their detection. Since the passage of the, their rolling forms, it kicks up huge plumes of swirling snow. That's, that's excellent. So we collect an extra specimen and we gain uh, a whole bunch of society research. Um, the Raltex declared war on the Kenjodan hegemony. And because they are our vassal, we are now at war. Okay, so the war started early. Excellent. Which means, let's uh, assemble at Kenjor. Do we have a, a, a base over here? Yeah, we have a base. They even have a fleet. So let's go to Kenjor Prime. Okay. So we are spending money, but we have a lot, so we can uh, oh, keep this up for three hundred months. War demands, yes, we need to supply war demands. So actually, I I want it all. I want them to see their planets to me.
or will we just uh, vassalize them? That's actually maybe that may, might be better, because then the integration is going to be uh, slightly smoother. So for now, let's uh, vassalize them, and we uh, set the demands. And of course, we need to uh, earn a war score. They want to liberate some planets and stuff like that. That's okay. So war is happening. I wasn't uh, I wasn't planning on it just yet, but well, we will show them that we are the strongest. And also, while we are at it, let's uh, keep building new ships. So let's build five destroyers and then a bunch of corvettes so we can just uh, replenish or add new ships as we go. But that's going to be next episode. So for now, I'm going to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again next time as we take on the United Raltec territories who at least according to our available statistics are going to be an interesting fight. So see you next time. Bye bye.